Okay, so when I say we have a nibble, let me just write a number here that takes up a nibble. A nibble is four bits. If I said we had a byte, then we would further write in these leading zeros. Even though they add no value to the number, we still have all the digits of a byte. And when we think in computers, we think in bytes because computers do store bytes. And they store all these leading zeros here, even though uh, they don't have any meaning. You can compare that directly to what I showed before with the scooter where we have leading zeros out here. We have all the digits, even though not all of the digits uh, add value. This this leading zero has no value, not until we go 99,999 miles plus one. Okay, so there we go. We write all the numbers. Uh, if you have a 32-bit computer or machine, let me say, then you have 32 bits, which is going to be even more wasted space in the case here. This is the binary value 2. Remember, we go 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, or 2, sorry, 0, 1, 2. And then all these things add no value. But essentially, when in programming, we deal with, usually we're dealing with smaller numbers. So we have a lot of wasted leading zeros. But we still have them either way. So, so that's important. Now, if I asked you, to add this binary number to this binary number. Pretty straightforward. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. And that gives you a 3. And if you think about it, this is a 2. This is a 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. But then if I took this a little further and said, let's add, uh, let's change this up a little. Well, let's keep our original example on the screen. Let's, let's add this number to this number, well, okay, 1 plus 1 is 0. We have to carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 0. Uh, and then we have to carry the 1. And then we put this one out here. But we started with 2 bits. And let's say we're on a 2-bit machine. And we have 2 bits here, which is 2 bits here. And then all of a sudden, we've, we've carried out of that. All right? We have 3 bits now. But our computer is 2 bits. It can only store 2 bits. So this guy kind of jumped off the cliff and disappears, and we call that overflow. It's a lot like uh, maybe you plug up your toilet and you flush the toilet too many times and it overflows. If you cook mac and cheese on the stove, you leave it running too hot and you put the lid on it, well, the water overflows. And the same thing with that renegade bit here. I'll draw him back here, but I'll put him in green. He has overflowed out of what we're capable of storing, two, which is two bits in this case. Right, and that's significant. That's true for no matter how many bits we have. It's it could be eight bits, which is a byte. It could be sixteen. It could be thirteen. It doesn't really matter. It's just once you've added two numbers that are are bigger than what we can hold, we overflow. Okay, and, and we do this all the time in base ten, but we don't really think about it. Let me switch to my base ten color here. If I asked you to add nine and eight. Well, 9 plus 8, let me put my plus sign there, that's 17. And without thinking about it, you added a, another digit here. Okay, we carried over. We, In fact, if we did this right, the way we learned in grade school, we probably carried the 1 and then brought the 1 down in here. But if you've added numbers for a long time in your head, which, which I'm at the point of doing, I would have just said 17. Well, what if I told you you can only have one digit? Okay, we can only have one... Digit. Well, all of a sudden, 9 plus 8, yeah, it's 7, if you think about that in uh, scooter terms. If we took a single digit here, like that, and we just had the 9, nine and say, actually, let's go white, let, let's, let's, let's blend in with the background of my scooter here. Say my scooter's odometer was, this would be pretty cool, every 10 miles I'd get a new scooter, huh? Well, let's say my scooter's odometer was like this, where we only had one digit. Okay, and, and fortunately, when I took this picture, it was at a 9. Okay, and let's say I drove 7 more miles. Well, this 9, it would turn into, or I drove 8 more miles, like we have right here. This 9 would turn into a 7. Okay, and it looks like I've only drawn, I've only driven my scooter 7 miles. We overflowed the extra 1, like we had in this case overflowed out of our scope of what we're able to s represent here. Okay, and anyway, so whenever we talk about overflow, that's important. 
Uh, generally, we're dealing with 32 bits or 64 bits, and the uh, numbers we're adding uh, don't generally go that high, but they can. And then if they if they do go that high, well, sometimes it matters to us, sometimes it doesn't. It, it depends on the context, and and if you uh, if you watch several of my computer science videos, you see sometimes we care, sometimes we don't. So anyway, there you go. That is overflow. Do not overflow your macaroni and cheese. Um, that kind of thing.